Alright guys, okay, so we're talking about cervical dystonia now. <laughs> cervical dystonia is a concept that has a lot of names. A lot of names, guy. You get to see that cervical dystonia is also known as neck dystonia. Now, this same thing has different different names or right? different different types to say. Then this cervical dystonia is also known as what spasmodic torticollis. You see, it. all right. So you can see it here. So right now we have like three names, all right. Cervical dystonia, neck dystonia, spasmodic torticollis. All right. So we said that it's a painful condition where the neck muscles they contract involuntarily. So this will now cause your head to twist or turn to one side. Do you understand? So if it turns to the lateral side, that's why I call lat uh, lateral collis. All right. It turns to the front. That's anterior collis. Turns to the back. That's retro collis. Like just turns halfway. That's torti collis. You get the types now. Don't worry. We'll still do it here. Okay. So what are the symptoms of cervical dystonia? Head movement. So the head may twist to one side. All right. So your chin can now twist towards the shoulder. Sit forward or backward. That's why we're we talking about these names okay we can actually turn sideways okay pain the neck pain can now ride into the shoulders sometimes can cause you headaches muscle spasm so involuntary muscle contraction can be intermittent or constant all right posture changes abnormal head and neck postures can now affect your daily activities because you can't achieve a lot if your neck is bent like this do you understand so, um, causes, sometimes the cause is unknown. Sometimes it's a genetic factor. So, some people just have a family history of it. You get? So, injuries. So, sometimes it's uh, traumas to the head or neck. Right? Shoulders can sometimes trigger the cervical dystonia. Neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease can also be associated with what? Cervical dystonia. Right? So, treatment is just uh, botulinum toxins just to relax the muscles okay reduce the muscle contraction then also relieve the pain medication so muscle relaxant or other medications may also be described just to manage the symptoms so physical therapy so you can do some exercises just to improve your posture and reduce the discomfort right then severe cases surgery may now be considered just to reduce the muscle contraction all right so i think basically that's it okay so coming back here if it is rotated, all right, that's what they call torticollis. If it is to the side, that's lateral, that's lateral collis. If it is backward, you are going retro, okay, retro collis. If it is to the front, that's what they call anterior collis. You understand? So that's just all about the concept of what cervical dystonia.